Today's video is on could the Detroit Lions sign Marcus Golden? Tonight at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time on my channel, come join the Gridiron Blitz, Derek P. Fields, and myself for the Grid and Truck Show. Check out the description for all members of the Infinite Sports Network where we talk sports endless. Also come join my memberships and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Smash that notification bell, set it to all so you never miss an upload or live stream. And a special shout out to all my members, the Gridiron Blitz, Hi Hollywood 80, Karim, Detroit Legend Sportscast, and Go Lions. Thank you fellas so very much, it means a lot. Marcus Golden is six foot three, 260 pound outside linebacker. He is 29 years old and was born in St. Louis, Missouri. He also went to uh, University of Missouri. He was one of the most premier pass rushers in his senior season and followed that hype with double digit sacks along with teammate Shane Ray. And they were the first teammates to do that in school history. He was the Citrus Bowl MVP in 2015 and in 2014, he was second team All-SEC. In 2015, the Arizona Cardinals, in the second round with a 58 overall pick, selected Marcus Golden out of Missouri. In his rookie season, he finished with 31 tackles, 21 of those were solo, two forced fumbles, and four sacks in 15 games where he started six of those games. In that same year, he had his first career start in the postseason due to an Alex Okafor toe injury. Now with Okafor's sideline for the entire playoffs, he and the Cardinals beat the Green Bay Packers in the divisional round 26-20 in overtime. Then the Cardinals were routed 49-15 by the Carolina Panthers, who eventually lost in the Super Bowl to the Denver Broncos. In 2016, now that was a special year for Marcus Golden. In the offseason, the Cardinals acquired Chandler Jones that offseason, and both became the first duo to record double-digit sacks, just like he and Shane Ray did for Missouri, which came full circle for the Cardinals, first time since 1984. Jones had 11 sacks, and Marcus Golden had 12 and a half sacks. Marcus also had 51 combined tackles, the 12 and a half sacks, four forced fumbles, a pass deflect in 16 games. Three of those games were start. Now 2017. 2017 was a disaster as starting will linebacker or weak side linebacker, he only played in four games with four starts as he tore his ACL. And in those four games, he only had 11 tackles. In 2018, Marcus started 11 games, recorded 30 tackles, but only had two and a half sacks in a contract year. In 2019, a fresh start for Marcus Golden with the New York Giants came calling, offering a one-year deal worth $3.75 million. He finished the year with 10 sacks with the lonely New York Giants. Those 10 sacks was the most by any giant linebacker since Lawrence Taylor roamed the Meadowlands back in 1990, which led the Giants to give Marcus a unrestricted free agent tender. Now, what that means is he is, if he is not signed by July 22nd, 2020, he will only be allowed to play for the Giants after July 22nd. If he signs elsewhere prior to July 22nd, the Giants will be given a compensatory pick. Could the Detroit Lions be considering adding a pass rusher for cheap if guys like Everson Griffin, Jadavian Clowney are off the board? Due to pricing, either way, I think for a low risk, high reward kind of guy like Marcus Golden could come in and help the Detroit Lions win games. If I was Bob Quinn, I would offer Marcus Golden a one-year, $3.75 million guaranteed on a $5 million contract. 
as Detroit still has to consider Taylor Decker the left tackle and star player and wide receiver Kenny Galladay their contract extension. As for Marcus, whether Detroit signs him or not, he will be a versatile player Detroit would have loved to sign as he can rush the passer as well as get into coverage. Marcus Golden in total pressure was ranked 15th one spot behind Everson Griffin who was ranked at 14. Leave it in the comments below what do you think the Lions should go after Marcus Golden or not. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please once again give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new smash that notification bell so you don't miss an upload or live stream and i will see you tonight for the grid and truck show with that being said have a nice day stay safe and wash your hands peace